Now then, and welcome back to another episode of Dark and Light. That dude's really looking intently at me. It's like, if you don't mention me in the intro, I'm going to kill you with this crossbow. There's been updates. There's been things. There's been crazy stuff happening. And there's been a revelation while I've been off on holiday. Yeah, I've been off on holiday. Uh, you may have seen the other video saying I went off to Wales on holiday. And we we first received some word after the week away that there was um, bases disappearing. D bases disappearing. On servers, a base will disappear if it is left for more than 72 hours without a login. So if you're inactive for 72 hours or more, all your stuff starts disappearing off the server. And that's fine for public servers and stuff like that, but for private servers, whitelisted servers for YouTubers, not so good, not so good. Uh, and the uh, the administrators of the server, GW Sheridan and JJ or J Jones, uh, they have they have taken it into account and they have worked on something, found something. There is a config element that they've found that allows that to be changed to a much longer period of time which they have done in updated the server. However, because I was away on holiday and I didn't log in for more than 72 hours, da -da, my house has disappeared. Look, this is the original property of my house. This is my little lakeside view of the castle and all that kind of stuff. All that remains of my fair base is this compost bin. And it doesn't even have any compost in it. It's nothing. I got nothing around here. I got nothing here at all. Um, so I've got to start again. And I th thought about going somewhere else and experiencing a different place to start and checking it out. They're just over the bridge over there, JJ and a few of the other humans have set up their camp. There's a house over there and there's a, that house over there. That's all JJ's house stuff. And... We're going to join the same uh, noble house and take over the human settlement as lords of the same noble house, right? We're going to do that. But right now, I don't have time to uh, wait for a good moment for us to record together. i got to get this episode sorted, right? I'm doing all sorts of gathering materials in order to start rebuilding in this area. Uh, before I went on holiday, though, I did manage to get recorded an episode um, that I didn't quite finish. I didn't quite finish the episode, and so I thought I'd better show you what I was going to do while I'm hacking this place down and trying to make my new version 2 base. So here we go. Now, first thing I want to start off with today is I'm going to make a bed. Finally making a bed. It cost a fair bit to make a bed, uh, but we do have one now. Making a bed was 80 straw, 15 wood, 30 twine, 15 hide, and 50 fur. So, I want to get this over and done with at the start of the episode because we've had so much time without a bed. And I don't really know what a bed does for us, apart from the fact that it's a bed. So I'm going to put the bed in the middle of my room here. It doesn't look like it sits very comfortably in the room. It's a decent graphics though, it's a decent graphic. I can go to bed. Okay, I can rest in my bed. Is there anything that happens while I'm in bed? I can uh, well? uh, get back up again. Okay, so it slept through no night. It doesn't sleep through the night like you'd expect it to or anything like that. It doesn't sleep till the next day or anything. Because we're on a server, maybe that's the reason why it won't do that kind of stuff. Maybe because I'm on a server. But it's there now. And what were the options for it? Let's have a look at options. Uh, rename bed and go to bed and that's it. So I can sleep in it. I can't figure out exactly what everything does in this game. I'm making stuff as we go along and hoping that it works. A comfortable bed for your dwelling. Sleep in a bed to replenish your focus after casting spells. So it's pretty much the same as the um, sleeping bag. But the sleeping bag has been updated so that we're supposed to be able to move it now. So now I don't need it here anymore. Can I uh, pick up? I can pick up the sleeping bag. Okay. So now I've got the sleeping bag back in my inventory. Awesome. Its durability is still the same. Um, durability 100. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. 
but it does mean that I can place that sleeping bag down somewhere else in the future. How's it going, Boo? Today, I would like to do some more taming today. I would like to. I don't know if that's going to be possible or not. I don't know if I'm going to be able to. But I am going to have a go at doing some taming today. And having a look to see what we've got in... Uh, where, where, where did I keep my saddles? I think I kept my saddles upstairs, actually. Call them stairs. Up ramps. It's not really upstairs, is it? It's up ramps. I keep them up there. What saddle did I get here? This is a rare boar saddle with 66 armor. I would really like to see that in action today because I found it and it would be cool. Um, i going to want to tempt tempt fate and try and tame a boar so there's nothing different from when i tame the sheep as far as i know um i use the stone hook arrows which i've got to go and make a load of and we try and wear it out until it falls over and then we make some kind of um was it trough yeah some kind of feeding trough and feed it something i don't know what it wants but i'm gonna feed it something also, as well as the bed, I unlocked the forge for making iron ingots and stuff. But I kind of want to do everything that I could do before 15th level. Uh, before we move on to the stuff I have to do after 15th level, if you know what I mean. So I'd like to see what we can do about capturing a boar without getting killed in today's episode. Um, and I guess once I've got enough arrows, I'll go exploring and you can catch up with me out on the hunt. Hey Boo, whose idea was it to put a charcoal farm inside, eh? Was it your idea? No, I don't think so. I think I may claim responsibility for putting a charcoal farm inside. Inside? I can't believe why I did it, I don't know really. I, I thought it would be a good idea. Um, I wanted to make 150 charcoal really, really fast. And I figured this was the way to do it. I mean, there's 100. Are we getting there? Um, it's just really, really hot indoors right now, thanks to that. Um, I don't know if there's a better way of doing this. Yeah. It's going to be difficult to get that many hook arrows without getting this much charcoal. I need 26 charcoal left. Man, did I get any more in this one? So many things burning in this house right now. Uh, oh, close close just a few more minutes let me just show you something while we're out here i mean the daylight is upon us it's it's daytime right sun's quite high it's uh, middle of the afternoon and look my house looks all glowy all glowy and bright all glowy and bright almost like it's on fire because there's literally that many fires inside burning <laughs> I, I can't quite see it because of all the the shabby walls in the way. But look how glowy it is. Isn't it beautiful? Isn't it a beautiful glowy house? Yes, on fire house. Let's have a look to see what the uh, crops are doing as well. So I'm literally just waiting for those last few bits. Um, have we got any signs of growth right now? Does not look like there's any sign of growth right now. It is irrigated and it's using that kind of stuff. It's got plenty of fertilizer, plenty of irrigation, and it's got crop seeds in, but I don't see any sign of growth yet. Um, this can't be helped. There's nothing I can do about that. That's just the way it is. We shall see, maybe in another episode, if that actually does something useful or not. We shall find out. For now, though, it's back to the inferno that is my home to try and find some more charcoal another three from that one good I'm, I'm getting to the point of 150 remember because it's three charcoal per arrow and i want to get a hundred uh, i want to get 50 arrows sorted so come on we can do this we can do this nearly oh wow yes this has got to be it uh, another five from this one yep yeah. and there we go bingo all right let's get out oh, let's get out of the heat quick okay so hook arrows let's have a look these ones i can craft all 50 now that's good oh, it's quite expensive though 250 twine 150 um charcoal 50 um arrows and 50 magic stones all together make up the quite a lot of this but it's good though 50 hook arrows should be enough to take down a boar let's hope right and i'm getting experience for all of this stuff at the same time 
so it's all good. I made a load of hook arrows, I've got a load of experience for that. I've leveled up to level 16 now, which is very good. Uh, but the next thing is to go and find myself a boar. I think I'm just going to leave all the charcoal production going quite, quite alright. Oh, we've got taming like rank 3. Where am I getting the taming points from? I don't know. Uh, but there's a small soul suppression stone. I'm getting too far ahead, XP-wise, faster than I can actually get things done. Uh, faster than I can actually fig figure out what things do what. Uh, I'm just going to go with a nice little wander. Uh, follow me, if you wish. We've got food. We've got all of our necessary ingredients and stuff. But I'm now looking to try and find a boar. What? Was that a man running through the woods there after whatever that is? And what exactly is that? It is a longhorn. And I don't think a longhorn is the thing that I'm after. What's that guy over there? I can't quite see him over there. Uh, it's a random guy out in the middle of nowhere. Is the longhorn going to charge me? It does not look like the longhorn's going to charge me. Uh... It's actually dead. That's why it's not going to charge me, because the, the guy went and killed it. So while I'm over here, let's have a look. Uh, is there anything in it? No. Do I chop it with an axe? Yeah. I get hide with an axe. Okay. What about with a sword? Probably get just extra meat with a sword. I get a lot of meat with a sword. Okay. Um, pickaxe. Where's my pickaxe when it's at home? Uh, let's get pickaxe in. I do like the different things produce different types of stuff. More meat and just some hide. Okay, so it's mostly just hide. But it's good. I need a lot of hide for other things, such as making uh, making uh, saddles and things. Okay, there's there's the dude over here. Is he, just, is he just wandering down the path, looking after things down the path for me? Hi. Hi, dude. How you doing? You okay? Good. And is that another build up there? Is that someone else's build? Is someone else building over here? That kind of looks like another player's build, doesn't it? Let's go over here. Let's have a look. Um, I'm glad that that guy's kind of looking after things on this little area around here. Keeping things killed. It does look like somebody else has built something already, doesn't it? It's almost like they're onto the wooden technology already before me. It does look pretty cool. Let's have a look, see who it is. They've got spikes on it and all sorts. They've got spiky bits on the outside. Defensive spikes. Wooden things all up here. That's cool. Who owns this? This is Jay Jones's house. The house of Jay Jones built. Pretty cool. Okay. Uh, and something else down there. Another wooden structure by the looks of it. Another wooden house. But I think those ones are old disused ones. Old defunct ones. Uh, okay. So, anyway, let's get back to boar hunting, shall we? Okay. Quite close to someone's, um, potentially someone's starter base. I don't know what, whose this is exactly. It is Phoenix's starter base. There is a boar. Now, I think that boar's going to spot me pretty soon. And I would like to get around this area without getting it. It's a level 76. It's a decent level. I don't know if I'm going to be able to tame it, though. But I do have some kind of higher ground and rocks to hide behind. So we can't charge into me so easily. So let's give it a go. Whoa. Try and tie it down quick. Oh. Get away and give it another one. Ooh. Whoa, bit of lag there. Got me stuck a bit. Let's get up over it. See if we can get out of the way. Right, let's use one of my peeling. Okay, and let's try. Oh, I'll try and get it some more. It's already uh, quite taken by that thing there. See if I can get it. Oh, come on, where are you? It's quite difficult to aim when it's running around over the place at you. Well, we got that. Oh no, there's another one coming. Oh my days. This is not on. I didn't want two of them at once. Oh, 
Wow. Okay, okay. Out of my face. Out of my face. Get out of my face. I need to. I need to slow that one down really fast now. Can I uh, get get a healing on? Uh oh, I'm running out of places to run. I need to escape quickly. And I'm, I'm running in a straight line is not helping, is it? Let's get around this corner here. Let's try and just try and dodge him enough. Oh man, no. I got some healing though, just in time maybe. Maybe just in time. Let's get up here. It didn't quite work out for me the way I was planning because the second boar turned up. But let's see if we can still manage to survive somehow. Uh, let's use some terrain to try and survive. And let's get another heal on if I can. Yeah. We do get some health back for that. Is it running after us? It's it's kind of lost now, isn't it? It's kind of gone. Good. Okay. Whew. I, I, I guess I went a bit quiet there because I was focused on escaping with my life and not dying to the, the, the boar trap here. So two big nasty boars at once was not a good plan. There was a little level 16 and then there was the great big one. It was almost like they got zapped back into the area that they were supposed to be in. Do you feel like that? Do you feel like it went back to where it came from? Uh, and I've got a timer on the healing as well, so I can't redo the healing anytime soon. Uh, was that the boar over there? There, that was a level 16 boar. Okay. See if we can get to that boar. Oh, it's, it's getting up on the top there. See if we can get it out somehow. It's gone up in the trees over there. Okay. I don't see it anymore. Maybe if I kill the level 16, I could focus on taming the level 76. Oh, there it is over there. I see it now. Oh, man, it's not taking any damage from these ones. And then it goes and breaks my bow. My bow then breaks. Great. Great, 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 great. What a day I'm having. What a day I'm having here. This is this is just typical. Typical, typical, yeah. typical of my day. Can I fix it yet? I need eight wood. Let's change to choppy axe. Let's get some wood. Fix fix my bow, quick. I just spent ages running away from this boar. Now the boar's just standing there, waiting for me to shoot it, and I'm not ready to shoot it anymore. Okay, so we we do need to figure this work working out. I think once I've got some animals that can help me take down monsters, then I'll be in a good way. But at the moment, I am not exactly fit for purpose. There's a there's a deer over there, or a stag. What do you want to call it? A stag, I suppose. Um, but no sign of that boar again now. Is the hunter being hunted? There's two stags over here next to Phoenix's place. Phoenix has got a good place here. Even though it's just a little tiny starter shack, it's just getting going. But uh, there's two stags over there and there's two boar close by. Is that the one? That's the level 76 boar, isn't it? One damage. That's it. We're getting closer. Let's just go back and keep tiring it out. Let's see if we can get it this way. That's it. And then run this way a little bit. And then let it come back this way. Come on. It's charging. Now it's running away. Now it's running away from me. It's it's running out of torpor, obviously. Uh, okay. Uh, 
Okay, let's get out of there quick. Oh, it's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt if I'm not careful. Oh, it's down. Oh no, not the other one coming after me now. Oh dear. I need to kill the other one out of the way. I need to get rid of the other one, don't I? Let's switch to sword and let's try and take care of the other one this way. Okay, where's he gone? I need to kill the second one. Get out of my way, bit of little rabbit thing. Okay, here's the second one coming now. Yes. More of that, please. Yeah. More of that. You want more of that? Yeah. You want some more? Okay. Let's let's see about changing to normal arrows. I think I can probably take it without falling over. Yes, I can take it without falling over. Okay, I did break my sword though. But again, stone tools do not work very well. But we got rid of that ball, right? The other one still seems to be stuck. I feel like the other one might be a bit stuck. Uh, and I feel like I need to have a little bit more health coming my way, please. Let's have some heat and some health, please. Okay. And next up, let's have a look. Um, the arrows. With 13 left of the arrows. 13 hook arrows left. We've done some wasting. But this guy does seem to have dropped down a bit, doesn't he? Because he's still attached to that spike there. And it looks like he's gone down. It's pulled him around a bit. And now he's unconscious. Yeah, he's unconscious. So now I need to get... Well, I've taken care of the other one. And now I just need to get a trough made. So I need to make a trough really fast. Uh, the trough is... I've got enough of that. I need some more wood. I need some more wood. That's all I need. Uh-oh. Uh, I think I think it's okay. I think we're okay here. I'm going to chop trees down by Phoenix's place because I guess that's the the only way I'm going to get this done. Because the ball's just sitting there in it. Uh, that's what to eat. Quick, okay, and make this. Oh man, this is this is so tasking and tiring and really difficult. But Phoenix, I hope that you don't mind that I'm doing it all outside your house. You just seem to have the best of things next door uh, let's put a trough down uh, too close to the foundations of a friend oh man too close to the enemy foundations this is not good is it too close to his foundations means I can't place it anywhere I can't place it down here this is not good that means that all of this has been a waste so far <sighs> because even though he's allied, I can't actually get him that way, can I? Oh my days. Um, is there anything I can do? Put food in feeding trough. He hasn't got a feeding trough of his own over here, has he? No. Uh, has he got anything... Has he got anything in his door? Uh, in his room, like? He's got... I, I can't de demolish his stuff. That's not fair. But he doesn't seem to have anything inside his stuff either. Okay. And let's, let's light the situation up. Um, this boar is down and out right by his place. <sighs> How am I going to do this? I could either chop it up for bits and then go and get another one. I think that's the only way forward. Chop it up for bits and go and get another one. Or I somehow destroy all this stuff. And that's not fair, is it? Now, I'm not going to be able to get this one. So I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to chop it up. I'm going to have to kill it. Do you think I can just let it wake up? Just let it wake up or just kill it while it's there? Let's have a look at... Can I, I can't access its inventory while it's alive. But now I've tamed... Uh, put it down. Put it wild. Just keep chopping it up until it's dead. And then uh, search it up for anything. Nothing special. 
No, oh, man, I can't believe all that hard work. And then I got stuck with the can't place a thing here. In the other taming things, you were able to actually tame stuff wherever it landed. But because the foundation of somebody else's building's close by, we can't do things like that. That just hurts. That just hurts, man. i got to do a load more hunting now. And I've already used up a load of those arrows on those two boars. Uh, but it was an experience. I'm nearly level 17, so there is some advantage to be taken from it, I suppose. Okay, so we're back. Um, uh, back in the current, the present day. Back in the present day, and I've started rebuilding. But look at what these shabby foundations now look like. They look very much like wooden foundations to me. I think there's been a problem with the latest update, but I'm not complaining. Because my shabby walls now look like uh, proper wooden walls. Full on wood, not shabby anything. It's pretty cool. Um, the uh, let's see, round in here, yeah. Uh, the the basic starter hut that I'm creating looks fine. The shabby uh, slanted roofs, they still look pretty much the same. Slightly different because they've got the triangular shabby walls next to them as well. But the shabby walls also look with um, a, a heather or a hay. Or uh, whatever it is. A dried stuff. What is the dried stuff? <laughs> I've just been using tons of it. What's the dried stuff? Uh, that one. Uh, yeah, straw. That's it. Straw. Duh. Uh, yeah, so everything's looking okay. But everything's looking a little bit better. The shabbies are light, slightly better shabby than before. And I'm coming up with some new ideas of how to protect the place. And how to work the place. And how to make the place look a bit better. And I've decided not to just build it straight up and do a big box. Decided to build it across a little bit and down a little bit and have some bits that come out the front and stuff like that. So we'll see how that goes. I'm not sure yet how it's going to work. I would also like a bit of a garden that um, nothing can come in. That I can also do stuff around and about and try and put a wall up. But walls are not available as of yet for me at my tech level. I'm going to continue sorting this out. I'm going to try and make alliances with some of the other human players on the server here. And try and get some things set up ready for next episode. And I will. I will. I will. I don't know what I'm hitting. What am I hitting? I'm hitting my own wood. I am. I'm making a hole in my own thing. But I'm aiming up here. How am I... Oh, my days, game. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching today's episode of Dark and Light. I will see you in the next very soon. A goodbye.